everyone and welcome. It is Karen here with you today and I have a, another awesome project that, well, I think it's awesome for Scrap FX. So I'm starting off in my small dilutions journal and I've got my gesso out. So I'm just going to slap that bit on there and get that bit dry. And I've noticed that my page in my book is starting to come apart a little bit on the spine. So I've got some of this extra wide plain washi tape that I'm just going to stick down the middle to help prevent that from falling apart. So now that I've got that in, I have got some scrap bits of scrap FX rice paper. I've got a few different bits. I've got the classifieds here that I've just ripped up into small pieces. And I'm just going to glue that down in um, my book with my matte medium. I've also got the newsprint. So classified to newsprint. So again, I've just ripped that up into little bits um, so that I can put that onto my page. And then I discovered that I've still got a few little gaps. So I'll go hunting through my scrap folder and I found some uh, writings here as well. So I'm just going to put some of that in on some of the bits that are left over. And then I ran out of that. And I needed a little bit more. So I found another piece of the same. So that was lucky. So I've pretty much got all my um, page there covered now with my collage. There's a few little gaps, but that won't matter in the, in the long run. So once I've got that dry, I've grabbed out my Jane Davenport um, colour sticks. They're just coloured crayons. You can use whatever you have. Like if you've got gelatos or any other colour any other watercolour crayon would work just the same. So now that I've scribbled my colour onto my page, I've just got my paintbrush here and I'm just smooshing my colour around to get it activated so I can paint my background. And once I've got it dry, I've decided to grab out this cool circle stamp uh, stencil actually from Scrap FX and I've got some hot pink paint. So I'm just going to stencil that through. And then I've grabbed out some purple paint to use with this text uh, stencil. I almost said stamp again. Oh, goodness. Also from Scrap Effects, so I can put some of that into my background there as well. And I'm thinking that's looking really cool. So to make it pop, we need some black and white. So I've got the um, foam stamps out and I'm just using some, some black ink. I've got a few different ones there. Um, she came to know herself quote foam stamp, um, the letter circles, and now I've got the clock, which I'm using some white paint with. So I'm just using the white paint with a bit of cut and dry foam so I can put my paint onto my stamp. So once I've got all that bit on there, I'm going to get that dry, clean up my mess, and then I've got um, one of the scribble faces in the collage papers here. So I decided that I would use this one here. And I'm just going to glue that down with a bit of matte medium. And I'm going to cover my whole page so that anything else I put on over the top isn't going to activate with the colour sticks. Although the colour sticks are fairly permanent, which is quite surprising actually. They're really quite cool. So the other thing I've grabbed out is my um, inks. Uh, what are they? Ice inks from Seth Apta. And I'm just spreading them out onto my page just with a palette knife. Um, I've got a couple of different colours there, the pink, the gold and this whiskey. Um, I just wanted to blend the rice paper into the background, um, you know, with the other colours and whatnot. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write I see you. So, yeah. And then I'm going to do a little bit of scribble writing around the edges and put dry that bit there off because it was still quite wet so I can put on a bit of a drop shadow with my white pen and that's it so I really hope you like my quick little colorful ICU journal page I had lots of fun making it and um, till next time have a great Easter um, whatever you are doing and please like and subscribe if you haven't done already okay bye